And so I began to study. And I have never stopped. Now, one thing led to another, and I ended up walking away from my own company and taking a job. I took cut from income from a few hundred thousand a year to $18,000 a year. In 1968, I went to work for the Nightingale Conant Corporation. Now, Earl Nightingale and Lloyd Conant became my personal mentors. And of course, because of my association with them, I became exposed to some absolute giants in the area of personal growth. Now, this is a way back when personal growth as an industry was really just beginning to start. I was selling records when I got into this business, long playing records. But I never stopped studying. And one thing led to the other, and I finally got the dots to connect. And when I got it connect, it was so obvious I was missing it. I want you to let your head represent your mind. Now, first of all, nobody's ever seen the mind. Mind is activity. Mind is not a thing. Your brain is not your mind. Your brain is an electronic switching station that alters the vibration you're in. And the vibration you're in dictates what you attract. But that's another subject. I want you to let the top half of your head represent the conscious mind, the bottom half represent the subconscious mind. Now it's the conscious mind that school focuses on. That's where we gather all the information. If I could show you a graphic, you would see the conscious mind loaded with books, and the subconscious mind has a paradigm locked up in it. Now think of that for a moment. Do you know that your paradigm controls your vibration, it controls what you attract, and it also controls what you do? It literally controls your behavior. If you look outside at your results, your results are nothing but the manifestation of your paradigm. And when you go to change your paradigm, which is something you must do if you want to change results, I'm going to tell you, you're in for the battle of your life. Paradigms do not want to be changed. There's an old saying, I've heard it many times over the years, habits die hard. So you have to ask yourself, what is a paradigm? A paradigm is a multitude of habits. They're ideas that are fixed in your subconscious mind, and when all brought together, they're called paradigms. So the paradigm is like a cybernetic mechanism. It's a control system in your subconscious mind. And the wisest among us sometimes do not understand that. So they don't understand how to change it. You see, unfortunately, school doesn't teach this to us. If you're having trouble in school, they tell you, study some more. And so you pile some more information. But that doesn't change the behavior. If the teachers, if the parents only understood the report card is a reflection of the paradigm, not a reflection of the information that that student has gathered. If the sales manager only understood that the sales sheet is a reflection of the salesperson's paradigm, not what they know about selling. You see, people will study selling. They'll, they'll study practice and uh, presentations. They study overcoming objections. And they study closing. And they get it right down to a science. But when they get in front of a prospect, the paradigm takes over. Well, you see, when I learned this, I thought I had made a breakthrough, and I had. But it was much bigger than I thought. I went into companies, and I started to show the companies how Paradigms was controlling the productivity in that company, regardless of the size. And one of the first large contracts I had was with the Prudential of America. And almost simultaneously, with the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. They are the two largest insurance companies in the world. And I was showing the agents how to change paradigms. And you know their sales went up by hundreds of millions of dollars. And I'm not exaggerating. This is all documented. I'm not making up some funny story. This is on the books of the Prudential of America. One retired VP said he thought that Procter raised the sales by a billion dollars. Now, I worked all throughout the company. I've worked with companies all over the world, showing the employees how to alter the paradigm. See, employees are the most important thing to a company. Now, companies don't always seem to recognize that. They spend a lot of money on systems, on buildings, on brick and mortar, and on things. 
The next time you go into a hotel, think of this. If we took all the staff out of a hotel, from the chamber maid to the general manager, you wouldn't have a hotel any longer. You just have a brick and mortar edifice, a building full of stuff. You see, the hotel is the people. I was recently staying in the Ritz Carlton Hotel. If you ask an employee where something is, they don't tell you, they show you. They have a motto. We are ladies and gentlemen serving ladies and gentlemen. Well, I want you to stop and really think of your results. And then ask yourself, do I know how to get better results? Oh, you do. I'm talking about from relationships to selling to building your business. If you feel, and without any formal education, without any real business experience, I built a pretty successful company. And I have been building successful companies and helping companies change, build bigger companies for 46 years now. There might be one or two people that are still alive that have been longer than me. You see, I'm going to be 80 on my next birthday. But you want to know something? I got as much energy as a person in their 30s or 40s. And I'm going to tell you why. I understand who I am. I understand how to express the higher side of my own personality. See, we don't get energy. We release energy. And desire is the triggering mechanism to release the energy. Well, I can show you. I can show you how to alter the paradigm. I'll help you understand how it was built. Because it's genetic. It was started right at the moment of conception. When all of mom's DNA and all dad's DNA came together and formed the nucleus of you. And then 280 days later, you made your great debut on this planet and you were programmed environmentally. I'm going to show you how to change it. I'm going to show you how to take the knowledge you've already got and compound your results. Turning your annual income to a monthly income, it's doable. I can show you how to do it. I'm not exaggerating. Not even a bit. It's shocking when you stop and think about what you're capable of doing. Edison one time said, if we all did what we were capable of, we would astonish ourselves. You know something? I think it's time we started to astonish ourselves. See, at the Proctor Gallagher Institute, we give you information that produces results that stick. It's not a blip on the screen. I feel good so it goes up, but it comes back down. Mm -mm. We're going to show you how to change that automatic pilot that's lodged in your subconscious mind. We're going to show you how to alter that paradigm and how to consciously and deliberately build the paradigm that will produce the results automatic that you seriously want. I just love this material. I absolutely love it. And I love sharing it. I love re watching people change right before my eyes in seminars. I don't have any special talent and ability. I've just got some phenomenal information that I've gathered over the past 52 years. And you can have it. If success has been slipping through your fingers, you can stop it right now. And you can produce the results you want, results that stick. This is Bob Proctor. Thank you.